Greetings, everyone. Garnet Schulhauser here. I am the author of five books in the spiritual genre, and all of my books deal with my astral travels and dialogue with my spirit guide, Albert. You can find out more information about my books on my website, which is garnetschulhauser.com. Now, as I mentioned, I've had a number of astral trips with Albert, and he's taken me to many very interesting and fascinating places. Many trips to the spirit side, many trips to other places in our universe, and many trips to other places on our planet. And he was my tour guide all the time. He always had a, an agenda in mind uh, because he wanted me to see something or speak to someone that would give me a nugget of wisdom I could pass on to humanity in my books. Anyway, on this one trip to the spirit side, Albert announced suddenly that he was going to introduce me to Lucifer. Well, I said, how can that be, Albert? Because he had told me many times before, the devil, Satan, did not exist. So how was he going to introduce me to somebody who didn't exist? Well, he knew what he was talking about, because soon uh, a young man with black curly hair and ivory skin walked into the room. He was wearing a long white cassock with a blue sash and was in bare feet. Very handsome young man. Albert introduced him as Lucifer. Well, when Lucifer saw my jaw drop open, he chuckled and he said, you probably expected some demonic creature with horns and a pointy tail. And he said, sorry to disappoint you, Garnet, but my devil costume is at the cleaners. I'm getting it ready for Halloween. Anyway, he obviously had a sense of humor. So he said, you know, Albert has told you that the devil does not exist, which is true, but I'm not the devil. I am Lucifer often known as the morning star to some people. He said that he has been badly maligned over the ages by some humans who have equated him to be like the devil, uh, the uh, enforcer of all evil on our planet and all kinds of bad things. So he basically said that is totally untrue. In fact, it couldn't be further from the truth because he said that he's actually a benevolent angel who works closely with God to try to stamp out and curtail all the evil on the earth plane. He said that the concept of the devil or Satan was just a fiction invented by various religions to whip their masses into shape. It was another tool they had to make sure that everyone followed their rules and obeyed them by using this fear instilled theory about evil and the devil and Satan and of course hell. And he just confirmed again that, that the devil and hell do not exist. That just a fiction by various religions to uh, further their cause and control the masses. He said that uh, to confirm what he had said earlier, that he was really a benevolent angel. He said he spends all of his time sending um, subliminal and telepathic messages to various people in the world to try to stop their evil deeds to stop them from doing what they were planning to do and to make the world a better place. And he said he he's done this over the ages, but he acknowledged it does not always work as evidenced by the fact that there's so much evil and wrongdoing happening on our planet. But he did say that even though it doesn't always work, he does try his best, especially in crucial situations to stop uh, the furtherance of evil on our planet. And he was proud to announce that he had accomplished this a number of times. And then he gave me three examples of noteworthy uh, cases where uh, the evil was, was curtailed, he said, through his efforts. First of all, he said that he was instrumental in abolishing slavery in the United States. He said that for several years before the abolishment, he had bombarded Abraham Lincoln with lots of subliminal messages, uh, telepathic thoughts to get him to uh, agree to abolish slavery. And after a number of years, uh, his messaging obviously worked and uh, President Lincoln did in fact abolish slavery, which was a major curtailment of evil on our planet. And then he said in, during World War II, um, Adolf Hitler was desperately trying to develop a fission bomb. 
and he had a team of scientists working away at this uh, feverishly trying to get the bomb before anyone else did. And Lucifer said that he sent a lot of messages to the scientists developing the Nazi H-bomb um, to try to get them to curtail uh, their activities, slow them down, drag their feet so that Hitler would not get the, the bomb before the end of the war. Well, this worked and those scientists did manage to slow down the process, unbeknownst to Hitler, of course, but they did drag their feet and he was not able to develop the A-bomb uh, before uh, the end of the war, thankfully for us and the whole world. And the third one was really quite surprising. He said it happened in 1962. This was during the so-called Cuban Missile Crisis. So what happened was this was at the, uh, at the height of the Cold War and the Soviet Union decided they were going to plant or develop a bunch of missile launch pads in Cuba, which of course is very close to the US mainland. So if they had been successful, these missiles could have very easily and quickly struck all the major US citizens, Washington DC, New York City, and so on. Well, President Kennedy was not going to allow this to happen. So he uh, imposed a naval blockade around Cuba to make sure that none of these Russian ships with the missiles on board would make their way to Cuba. Well, this was a real showdown because the Soviet leader at the time, Nikita Khrushchev, was incensed that America would, would block their ships from getting to Cuba. And so it was very tense. And uh, Lucifer said that Nikita Khrushchev was seriously considering starting World War III with the US over this. But he said that he bombarded Khrushchev with uh, various telepathic messages to get him to back down, to realize that World War III was not gonna be won by anyone, it would destroy our planet. And eventually that worked and Khrushchev backed down and that was the end of that crisis. Well, I was truly impressed with Lucifer. He clearly was a benevolent angel who had been badly maligned over the ages by people equating him with the devil. But he was 180 degrees from that. He was really working hard as one of God's faithful servants to try to stop some of the evil that occurs on our planet. Hopefully now people on earth will recognize Lucifer in a new light. Well, that's all for now, folks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy what you've seen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So enjoy the rest of your journey and remember to keep on dancing.